Jeg kommer det til at gå dæk. Da, også. Så dæk. Testing. Testicles, one, two. Stop it. I'm done. I All right. I've only just started. Yeah, remember the talk to... The, talk at the pop filter. I know, I'm talking to... Fuck you, pop filter. Whoa. It's like, I have to like look. Well, it's actually supposed to be more towards fucking Aaron yeah. because <laughs> Fabian is a loud motherfucker. <laughs> and he grabbed you and sung into okay, it. Okay, okay, this is the thing. You are sitting in a bad position because I'm looking at you and I should be looking at you. you Wait, it's it? like a three way thing. We you need a third microphone. We, you should nah. be over there, Daniel. That's what you should be doing. Nah, one microphone can actually pick up two people. In fact, I got another chair here. Kind of, it's kind of reckon it for me because I want to talk to Daniel. Do this. Like, Daniel, <laughs> this is the thing. Okay, and I have to look directly at the pop filter. Daniel, your black disc face. Well, it's been too good for too long. Oh, good. I said oh. disc face, not disc. dick face. Circle disc. Circle. <laughs> <laughs> Just so that the listeners are in t- now not even are recording. in the fucking. <laughs> Inside joke. No, it's recording. Yeah. Oh, the only oh, listeners so far are the three of us. All right. This is <laughs> formerly known as Shoot On Sight. We have decided to change the name from Shoot On Sight to Circle Kick. Now, the reason why is Shoot On Sight is just too fucking hard to find on YouTube, and it just so happens to be the same name as a horrible action Indian movie. I thought it was so, Turkish. Turkish, Indian. Oh, so you're just going to lump everything okay. together now? They're all the same. <laughs> They're all the, ah, I'm glad that Aaron said it rather than me. Sorry. <laughs> I, I, I want to be the first one to be racist on the show. Yes. Right. So you have plausible deniability. Down with now. white people. <laughs> plausible deniability, Daniel. That's I am the only one. white person on the show. You base, you, Actually, you, he you is. You kind of are. So I'm the only racist. You guys can say whatever of, you want. Out of this podcast, you are surrounded by brown people. Mm. Yeah. That's true. So, yeah. Yeah, vatos locos, motherfucker. I don't speak gibberish. <laughs> oh, oh, you, oh my. you are going down for that. All right, so what is a circle kick? Aaron, do you know what it is? Is it like a roundhouse kick? No. Then I don't know. <laughs> you do know. You and I coined this term. I only just found out when Daniel explained it oh, to there's, me. I know the game when you press dive kick. and the kick no, 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 no. This is the <laughs> dive where, kick. Where, but like, the way Daniel explained it to me is the two of you are playing Halo. And it's basically when you walk into a room and there are already three people there and they just beat the shit out of you. It's basically a PG version of a curb stomp. Oh, okay. It's yeah. like one against three plus people. Yeah, it's like you play in Destiny, you walk into a control point and it's like, oh, fuck it, the whole other team is here and they just cut you down. Hmm. But that's not how it worked when I played Halo. Was I walked into the room no. and the other team got cut down. That's true. <laughs> like, that, like, <laughs> There'd be five of them and one of me and we're like, okay, seems I've like seen, even odds. Yeah, because this was in the glory days when you and me were just playing non-stop fucking Reach. Yeah. And that's pretty much... That sounds so gay. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Aaron no, like I, to reach. I, I, think, I think you're thinking reach around. Difference. Oh, okay. No. We no, played it, it at various places. We were reaching around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, we didn't discriminate. We were ambidextrous. <laughs> you used both <laughs> hands? Yes. <laughs> Wait, don't you kind of have to use both hands? It's been to like play 40 Halo? seconds and the channel's already lost the plot. I know, yeah. right? Welcome to Circle Dick. <laughs> I was laughing before because you were like, like basically before we reviewed movies and people seem to like the fact that we talk crap so we just got rid of the movies and now we just talk crap well it's a podcast is something i've always actually wanted to try um to me it looks easy as fucking shit mm-hmm. it's probably not there's probably a lot more to it but i'm an idiot so i've just look at it and I'm like fucking this is easy why don't we try it i'm still thinking there should have been some sort of structure instead of you know just cowboying um, it like we're right now i'm still impressed that these microphones are so good you can hear it every time i put my cup down <laughs> <laughs> wow you sir need a coaster like me <laughs> wait hold on <laughs> oh that was feel I, that bass and, and, and i did it lightly too i was like oh, wait no that was hard wait 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 let's try the bottle cap Holy, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah. I gotta hear that. I gotta Unfortunately, hear that. there's no visuals. There are two fucking grown men <laughs> dicking with the table and just dropping things on it. Hold on, hold on. Now hold on. it's a wait, bottle cap. Wait, wait, quiet, quiet. No, stop, stop, stop. Shut, stop, shut the fuck up. Whoa, that's amazing. Wait, get me a pin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mics are so good. You can hear a pin drop. That's good. 
Oh, look, we've got She's our, filming. We've got, <laughs> we've got our first official Twitter follower. Wait, hold on. Isn't Tiff supposed to be the one who manages our Twitter anyway? True. I'm actually going to get Tiff to manage Twitter because I don't know shit about Twitter or anything. Mm-hmm. Which is strange that. because you're a twit. Ah, <laughs> that's a horrible fucking thing. I don't normally pose, but when I do, dos <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Anyway, back to Circle Kick. Yes, it is a PG version of a curb stomp. Um, it happens to me all the fucking time whenever I play multiplayer. It rarely happens to Aaron because you are dumb terrible at multiplayer. Then. Fucking nah, nah. It's not that. It's not that. <laughs> Someone it's, will come in, throw a grenade, it'll hit the other guy. They'll all blow up, and I'm like, hey guys, what's nah, happening in here? Here's the thing, Aaron. Like here, uh, here I'm here. I am thinking that Aaron keeps surviving these fucking things out of like skill and stuff and yeah he does have quite a bit of skill what, just but I've actually it. seen him do it a few times and it's just dumb fucking luck really L- l- let it. me um, one of them it's a combination of luck and skill <clears throat> yeah a deadly right. combination let's put it this way uh, there was one time where I was like up a high advantage so what point, and I was like just looking stuck? down <laughs> and I pretty much see Aaron uh, sitting in a field just running towards one guy one guy in front of him two guys chasing behind him the guy in front of him throws a plasma grenade, which I don't think you've ever played Halo. It's basically a I've sticky grenade. I've played enough Halo. Look, okay, All right, cool. I'm not a Halo player. I've never had an Xbox, but I've played enough, especially, I think we did one big uh, New Year's Eve thing where I'd like, I, have, I have enough experience. And even then, I've got Destiny, so I know what a sticky grenade is. Yeah, you know? so basically the deal is Aaron's running toward this one guy behind him while there's two people chasing behind Aaron. The guy in front of him throws a sticky grenade. Aaron just moves to the left a little bit. It misses him narrowly, sticks the guy behind him, blows the guy up behind him, and his friend gets killed in the blast radius while Aaron runs up to the guy who was in front of him and just blows his face off with a shotgun. It is dumb. And I'm just looking at this, just shaking my head. Like, what the fuck? One time I threw a grenade into into a corridor just to see if there was anybody there. And then I turned around. (laughs) And then two... I saw two bodies fly out of that. No, I turned around and I saw a guy and I'm like, oh no... And then coming back from the grenade, a rocket launcher comes flying in. Mm-hmm. Just a rocket launcher by itself, not a rocket, a rocket <laughs> launcher, launcher and lands at my feet. And I'm like, okay. I was that was sand trap. We were going in there and all I see was three bodies fly out and then Aaron be like, oh hey. It's okay, I have like, a sim- the- I have a similar story, okay, because I, I know um you guys don't play Destiny, but I was doing a control match, right? Aaron used to, but yeah, no, and then you stopped playing because you just got bored of it. I realized that there was no intelligence involved in the game. There's no story. There's no real new gameplay mechanics. And I was like, okay, I can do this elsewhere. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I still have fun with it either way. I guess I play with enough people that we make it. We, we, we make our own thing. But okay, I have a similar story. Uh, this was complete dumb luck as well. Because uh, every now and then, you know how every couple of minutes they drop the heavy ammo in uh, Crucible. Okay? Yep. So I pick up the heavy ammo, running around with a rocket launcher. I am pretty much standing in one of the maps there at uh, Rusted Lands, and I see one guy directly in front of me. I'm like, okay, sweet, I got this guy dead to rights. I fire my rocket. He jumps out of the way. I say, fuck, this is why I hate rocket launchers. I just never like using rocket launchers. My rocket goes past him through this narrow gap of a door, okay, because it's not even like the door's (laughs) facing me front on. It's kind of (laughs) diagonally through the door to control point A and blows up four of them. Nice. Completely by accident. I thought, this is... Oh, that was great. But, I mean, I got killed. I got shotgunned by the other guy. Did you make yourself look cool? Like, yeah, <laughs> that's right. I meant <laughs> no, no. to do that. Did you look no. at the explosion? Yeah. No, I, I, don't look at I, the explosion. I got killed yeah. before the explosion. Because no. it was actually a post-mortem four-player <laughs> rocket launcher kill. What you should have like, done... Ah, it was great. What you should have done, looked at it, realized, oh shit, I just wasted all these people. Turn around and just walk off slowly. No, because the guy the that whole had this shotgun me in the Antonio face. Antonio so Banderas and Desperado. And Desperado thing, look, where it just yeah, exploded. Where it did like multiple shots. Fuck yeah. Because mm-hmm. Antonio Banderas is too cool to look at explosions. Yeah. So is Wolverine. So is Vin Diesel. Yeah. Vin Diesel voice. I just found out the other he day. Just, he Vin just likes to work the Iron Giant. You didn't know that? I, you, you didn't I've know never that? seen That's the Iron Giant. Too. Oh man, it's no, such I know a good Groot. I know Groot, yeah. It is such a good animation. I, I've heard amazing things. It is so good. It was one of those movies I wanted to see as a kid and I just never did. It's one of those movies that everyone doesn't know about and it just does not get the recognition it deserves. It is I've, so I've good. I've heard it's really deep. It unfortunately it became popular deep. years after its release. So like, it's one, it's one it of those ahead of its time It flopped at the movies. Really? Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, yeah. That's, just because no, no one, one watched it. It came out with something else big though. Something, something huge. And Warner Brothers, because of it, just refused to do anything similar to it. Oh, that sucks. I know. It's it's all, It's terrible when something so deep doesn't get the recognition, honestly. Mm. Mm. But even now, like not that many people know about it. It's not like Scarface or anything, where like 
fucking yeah. 10 years down the track I've, everyone's I've, like fucking Meng it's one of those <laughs> yeah, everyone says Meng now but Meng. It, it's one it's one of those um what, what's the term cult classics you yeah. know where you know if you're in the know you're in the know you know mm. the movie I mean I've heard of it I just haven't you seen find it. somebody else that knows the movie and you're instant friends yay and it's you're like, better oh. than everyone else <laughs> it's yeah, true that's right. because you guys know it and no one else does mm. you're film snobs film snobs uh, I hate that term Really? I really do. You can hear every sip. I can. <laughs> oh, you intentionally made that loud, though. Is, I'm glad you didn't do it next to the thing. Like no, this. that was quite... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love Dos Equis. I really do. Uh, I, it's, it's okay. I mean, are, I they are, are, are they our sponsor or something? Like, did you get fucking money from wish. this? Hold on, i got to put this up. It's like, Dos Equis. That's so weird. People will <laughs> be like, let, I'm me, let me show it to the microphone. <laughs> let me show it to the microphone. <laughs> now, everybody, have a good listen and look. <laughs> <laughs> like, the place is a mess. <laughs> See? <laughs> like, what are you drinking, Daniel? Uh, depends on who wants to give you money. <laughs> Could be a Corona, could be a Bexar. But either way, it's good. It, yeah, I know. <laughs> Tastes great, though. It's the best drink I've had in my life. <laughs> I will gladly drink this. Not that anyone can see. Oh, man. So, yeah, that's basically <laughs> what Circle Kick is. <laughs> How did we... Wait, wait, hold on. Did we even explain what Circle Kick is? Yeah, we did. We Basically, I, we, it's a... We just kind of it's went something that It's something that happens a lot in games. Let's be real. Multi, Every game in, has... In there's two types of teams. Like, yeah. There's a team of players who stick together. Mm-hmm. And then there's a team of lone wolves mm-hmm. who think they're the best people and don't need to be in a team. And that lone wolf heads into a building and is curb stomped by the people who actually but stay together, together in a team, yeah. as a team. Yeah. That's a circle kick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't even have to be in a circle. Mm-hmm. It could be in a hexagon. <laughs> it could be in a just, hexagon. I, so, so if we were to put this as a scientific explanation, it's the term... I've seen triangle when... kicks at one point. <laughs> So it's it's a term a for when kick. more than <laughs> one guy. So it's the term for when more than one person turn turns around and wastes you because you're. No, a I'd say three plus because three plus. Uh, well, two, all right, two, two points. Still enough. Two points. What shape can you make? A line. <laughs> wait, it can depends. you use your victim as a third point? Is, 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 um, <laughs> wait, no. what happens if you've surrounded the person? It's like he walks into the room. One's on one corner. One's on the other. That you know, like come out. You're we still have between you just it. jumping around like the vampires and, 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 and the other two are just kind of cut, cutting him down. Yeah, yeah. Well, we yeah. I just I don't know. It's a term that me and Aaron coined like a fuck long time ago. Yeah. We haven't so actually. Long, I don't even remember coining it. Yeah. Apparently, you've left quite an oh, impression then, on Daniel. But then again, this was could have taken full yeah, credit. It's <laughs> such a good name. It's I just love the term of it. Like, whenever I just see like movies or fucking video games where you just see one poor fucker just get turned into Swiss cheese just by like a volley stomped. of bullets. I just, hey man, that guy just got circle kicked. It's, I like it. It's great. And it happens everywhere, man. Mm. No, I can, I can definitely. Except Tekken. No, because Tekken <laughs> has so, literal circle kicks. <laughs> Tekken, yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, you can still get circle kick, but it's a literal circle yeah, kick a, right there. <laughs> yeah. Dive kick. Dive, dive kick. kick. I still haven't played dive oh, either, you. but I like the concept. Yeah, it's like what, you I just have, jump, it's... dive, and kick. Yeah, it's just, no, just jump, and then you kick, and then you're always going downwards. Ah. And the idea is just, to kick guess the other what person. just got released on PS4? M++. Yes, I've no. heard about that. It's come to the PS4. You should just oh, pull the trigger Jesus. and get one. Actually, come join the rest of us. You know what? Because um, this brings up to another point where, like, I was considering different things that we could add to the channel. Mm-hmm. One thing I'd like to do is game capture. Mm. Why don't we game capture N plus plus? Holy shit! That I don't want to die. <laughs> what do you mean you don't, did, okay. dude? <laughs> there is right. a button specifically designed to blow up. Oh, you know what that reminds me of? Sad, do you remember that time Daniel was playing in front of me? We were playing on your Xbox, and we were getting so frustrated that I just reach over and I just like bam, press his and his explode button. He's like, "You fuck!" He did it himself. When I we did were that. Doing the co-op thing. I was, like, he was about to reach the goal, and we we're all waiting for him. <laughs> we we're like, "Yes, yes, yes." <laughs> <I blew> <laughs> <myself>. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but I remember, I remember I did it to him specifically and I trolled him. And I he remember was like, oh, one time, guys. I remember one time we were all running down a corridor and it's just a perfect line of just players, like four players, all the, all in perfect sync. And I'm like, hang on, guys, I got an idea. And I just blew myself up. <laughs> Seriously. I'm pretty that, sure he triggered a couple of landmines too. So has it already, because I know it's coming plus, to plus, has it already released? It's out. Oh, shit, I'm getting myself. I'm getting that. That's that's my next, you can, next you can multi- game. You can play multiple in one screen, eh? I don't know. You I should be able to. I'm pretty that closely sure. yet. God, I mean, yeah, we'll you'll we'll have, you have to have split screen, man. I will just, we'll, we'll, you have we'll, to have we'll a capture it. card, yeah. which I still need to get. Well, no, there's PS Share. Oh. 
Well, yeah, you that's see, true. We can actually share that using the It is the share a capture button. card. It is, know? pretty much, yeah. Mm. You can only get 15 minutes of footage, though. That means that's a lot of N+. Nah, and then you just press that. record I'm, again. And you I'm still getting me a capture card because I yeah. want to fucking... I don't know, 15 minutes is bullshit. And I'd like to see, edit shit I as well. I have a feeling he wouldn't want... I mean, 15 minutes is good. Yeah, but 15 minutes is good, but... 15 minutes is... It's a chunky, chunky bit. No, but I mean, like, when you finish the end of your 15 minutes, you go, okay, record again. Well, I know. <laughs> it just has to be in 15 minute clips. Mm. And nah, you can, you can still, save it to the hard drive. Yeah, so I'd still. No, nah, I'd still want it you, you long, just, nice and long so I can edit it. I think you just want new Oh, by the way, um, introduction. I'm Daniel. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I'm the director and I do all the editing in bad movie reviews and most likely every other fucking video we'll be doing because no one here knows how to work a video editor except me. I'm Aaron and I live here. I'm Fabian, and Daniel loves tooting his own horn. Yes, I do. Because <laughs> we won't toot it for him. We won't toot it for him. And I, if anyone, if, if, if anyone's horn, seen our reviews, uh, any of our bad movie reviews, this is the Daniel I, we are insulting. I, I have. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true. But Fabian is the one with the beard. Wait, I think I would have mentioned that. I'm on pretty the video, sure my beard I? comes and goes, though. So it depends your which hair one comes watched. and goes. Yes, we were does. at like I was at Fabian's house like a while back, and we were just watching old. Old, like old mo- versions, yeah, old versions. Man, your mullet just comes in and out of videos like crazy. In case you're wondering, I currently have hair. Now you've got a I think like, you long hair have again. Hair. You just shorten it every yeah. now and then. It's fun tripping every out people at work. I like to have a full beard and long hair, and then leave on my lunch break and come back clean shaven and with a short hair. And people are just like, "What the hell? What happened to you?" You can literally walk past people, and go hello, and they just go, "Hi." And then they're like, <laughs> "Wait a minute, wait, that was Aaron." <laughs> Yeah. That is where I do it, people. Yes. Uh, you just love messing with people, though. To mm-hmm. screw with people. No, that's basically what we do with this channel, don't we? We mm-hmm. just screw with people. Actually, we made this channel purely for, like, practice, because I'm doing filming and, filming and directing and what have you. And, yeah, this was, like, awesome pra- like practice for me, especially with editing. But now it's to the point where I just want to... It's just fun. It is just pure fun we now. We enjoy it now, yeah. It's yeah. Like that Hercules in New York, uh, that's still one of my favorite, the, the, one of the best we still got to see the last one. I want to see us summarizing the plot. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Wait, what? Well, when you were reading the story. What, what was I reading the story? Uh, what? Robo Vampire. Wait, wait, we haven't put up... Oh, God, I, I'm behind. Not yet. That's, a, that's tricky. Yet. That is very oh, fucking that, tricky. That was terrible. That's, that's going to be hard. I was wondering where that one had gone to. That's quite funny. I'm Did tempted... after Hercules or before Hercules? After. I'm tempted oh, okay. to make that video longer simply because we got a comment the other day saying we should, you guys should do video edits like 20 minutes to 30 minutes long. So you're going to change your entire life based on one comment? No, because I'm considering it. The thing I'm, is, I remember... There have been look, three comments I have you. actually... You, you, you specifically came out and said, oh, 30 minutes is way too long, 18 minutes we is okay way too long. But then again... We were okay with it, and you were like, no, 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 we have to keep... But here's the thing. Admittedly, when we first started, we had jack shit. It took ages to get 15 <laughs> yeah. minutes out of Supergirl. <laughs> Although, <laughs> like, I have there to was admit, some crap. American Shaolin is where we kind of really started. That was when he right. wanted to start doing 20 and 30 minutes, he was because he like... Like, mm. I'd actually come over to your places and show you what I've got, and it'd be, like, fucking 35 minutes worth of footage, and I'd have to just cut down, because it's just... Rendering is just a fucking nightmare for that much. Mm. And, of obviously, uploading it to YouTube, because mm-hmm. it's so goddamn big, it's just gonna take forever for it to, like, buffer and everything. When's that new computer coming? When I get money. Let's, let's not forget okay. the fact that we live in Australia, so Let's, let's start one of those Kickstarter terrible. campaigns to get Daniel a new computer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Circle Kickstarter. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> was that you were just building up to that joke, weren't you? You probably couldn't like. <laughs> I thought it for a while. It's like <laughs> twenty minutes ago. You're like, I got, yeah, I got a in on that in You're in a bathroom just thinking, hmm. Circle Kickstarter. <laughs> Here's one I prepared the night before. <laughs> <laughs> no, it would be even better if, like, if we were if we were a, a file on a computer, it would be like CircleKick.exe. So it's Circle Kickstarter. Come You're on. an asshole. <laughs> I hate you. You <laughs> fucking suck. <laughs> See, at least that one I didn't come up with 20 minutes ago. No. Uh, hey, I like to mix in the fresh and the old. <laughs> no point letting the old go to waste. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I'm going to bring back jokes from three weeks Could ago. Could be rotten in an unfunny dungeon somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, what else are we looking to do? Um, game capture is something I've always wanted to well, I think all try. of us playing any multiplayer game like Smash Brothers or something where we're just insulting each other is usually pretty funny. I'd like to record car conversations. Yeah, we had we had that idea a while. I'd like to cause... get a few GoPros in and just 
record us is, just going somewhere and just is, talking. Is that us not just what we're doing right now, though? True. We're not going anywhere. Well, I know we're not, we're not literally... Going it's like when we went to do get our you know what? payday suits. From, uh, if we for, ever for get... Right. Expo if we ever get yeah. enough people to the point where it's like a QA, and a I'd like to incorporate that. What? Just have a Q&A? An ex- a one extra person? Q&A in the car. <laughs> it's like, well... I mean, you're not... <laughs> we're going like, out to get ice cream. Do you not watch YouTube or like TV in any kind? You're like the guy from 30 Rock who's like, I've got an idea for ice cream, but it's really small. It's called Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> That's a that's a joke from Thirty Rock. <laughs> the, Jerry Seinfeld already does that. He interviews comedians on card trips. That's what I told him. Yeah. It's what uh, coffee Dro- with stars the, or coffee something. Coffee with stars. He takes them to coffee and then drives them home. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right? and they sit there. They have. Like, well, I told you this idea ages ago. Mm. Mm. And I'd like to do it. Why? Do something new. Why not? Let's take them in like helicopters. What? So podcasts aren't <laughs> something new? <laughs> because we don't all have the Bronwyn Bishop budget. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. I thought we should moan her lawn on helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she cops so much flack for that, I swear. It's almost worth that twelve thousand dollars just for the memes. <laughs> I'd like to do some short, ha, ha, short stories as well. <laughs> I'd like to do some like short skits as well. Like, well, like towards you, Keel and Peel kind you, of esque thing. You can tell that our humour is topical. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but topical humour isn't timeless. No, it's not. Well, I thought what? you were about to say tropical humor. I was <laughs> tropical humor. I was, I was yeah. actually going to say right now. South Park's With doing a really, and a really good job of it, though. Because they're I really, doing it now, but then you watch what like Simpsons. You can watch the old episodes, yeah. and they're still funny. Mm-hmm. They I watched are. old episodes of South Park. I have no idea what they're talking about because they're so topical and so current that if you weren't things that they the that mean a big deal now, twenty years later, no one remembers at all. Mm. I, I really think that everything post season nine has been really good. I mean, maybe maybe just because it's topical, but I do like the fact that their process is that they just they, they make it up and that week they're putting the show on. Mm. You know, so it's like, wow, okay, cool, you're, you're pretty fresh and up to date. I guess Daniel, can yeah, our show be out next week? <laughs> <laughs> it, it's just we'll be, see. We're just going to be sitting there recording phone conversations between the three of us. <laughs> I like the phone conversation I had with Daniel when we were getting the payday costumes because I was on the train mm-hmm. and I was like, I've got the guns, I've got the bags for the money, I've got the getaway vehicle. Don't and forget the people, gloves. Yeah, we need the gloves. We were looking around, the like the masks. the masks. And then I'm like, the hostages? And Daniel's like, what? And everyone <laughs> on the train is like... <gasps> <laughs> that would have been classic. <laughs> we need women and children. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> But I don't know. The, the, the whole microphone is too crisp. It is, it, it is so crisp. I it love is, it. It's messing with me. Thank you. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering what microphone this is, it is Auto Technica um, A22. I think it's called. Hang on. It says people. AT2020. Ah. We yeah. we don't know if they paid us enough money to tell people it's that microphone yet. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> it's Jim Bob's warehouse. <laughs> it's Radio Shack. <laughs> Do we even have Radio Shack yeah. in Australia? Pro- yeah, I'd really? Really? Field. I saw it in Strathfield. No, wait, is it Radio Shack? Car um, Shack. Fuck, I don't know. We have some. We have some we have shacks. Shack. We have shacks. We've got some we cheap shack. knockoff that's Shaquille supposed O'Neal. to represent that. I was about one. to say that's like he's licking a ham. That's the first <laughs> thing. That every time I think of Shaq, I think you're either a genie or you're licking a ham. One or the other. That's probably the only no. real good thing we got out we of. We need to review Shazam still. No, the other, the other thing. Um, that's What's the other one? Steel. The other thing, the the the, the GIF file with Shaq. Have you seen that one with him doing the shoulder thing with with the cat? Oh, the the chicken. I the, love. No, 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 no. It's a cat doing this, and then Shaq's going. What the fuck? And it kind of goes back and forth. You guys have I haven't seen, seen the, I haven't got the cat. I've just got the shoulder wiggle. No, it's, it's shoulder, the shoulder wiggle. It's at work. I've it's, just got the shoulder wiggle. Oh God, it's I, creepier by itself. I didn't know that that's why he was doing it. Yeah, because the thing is, it kind of cuts back and forth, and you've got a cat, you know, like how they perch down, and it's wiggling its shoulders, and then you've got Shaq going. And it kind of. People it, can't it, see it that. People face. can't see you doing this. Let's talk in hand gestures. I'm, you know what? I'm but just, it cuts back and forth. It's it's like one of the funniest gifs I've ever seen. I can't I can't get over it. God damn it! I it's like the so one good. with the the like it's like Indian television or something, and the guy's announcing, and the, the guy comes in the side of the screen. He's like, and just throws the hell out, like throws him the hell out of the screen. Really? Yeah, it's what? pretty good. Like, it's like some dude, like you know, you, see you gotta people, send me a. It's like a news thing, and you know how people like try to get on their head on the news, and they're like, yeah. hello, mom. Like they try to photobomb. Yeah. yeah, and he does that, oh, and then he only gets his head slightly in, and the news reporter just goes, oh, that I've seen him. I haven't seen it. I've seen. I thought you were talking about the actual guy who's news bombing, throwing down the reporter. 
No, no but I have actually seen the reporter fucking... Goes, Hello! And he no, just gets I have thrown actually the hell out of the I've shot. Seen, yeah, he just gets fucking thrown down. Mm. It's great. He gets launched. Wow. Yeah. It's quite funny. I, that, I, I have to see this now. I remember one... I also have that one of the panda tipping over the trolley full of cheeses because he doesn't like the cheese yeah. that he's got. It's just the gif of him going... Whoo! Yeah, but isn't that just from the ad? From yeah, the, the panda, one from the, the cheese. Yeah. Ad? I love that. The, 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 all of those panda ads are just great. Okay. Just called, like, a current affair with Circle Kick. <laughs> I've, started, I've started sending people at work the um, mm. the picture. It's like a picture and it's a seal of approval. And it's an actual seal going, good job. Mm. <laughs> oh, man. God damn. You just mentioned that and I'm just remembering. Remember that little, uh, it used to be a show on SBS years ago called uh, It's the Mr. Hell Show? No. No, you don't remember Mr. that? No? no, I don't remember No, that. okay, okay. Because there was a little seal cub named Serge. And he saw the slaughter of his parents, and then he just at the end of every five minutes. <laughs> <Right. laughs> wait, wait, it's not where I thought the story was going. <laughs> no, right. Mister e- Hell <laughs> sounds like a really good chicken's no, program. No, it's, it's called okay. This was. I think I remember that one. Yes, you do. Is that the one? That- <laughs> Yes, and he has the rabbit's foot that's like his best friend. Yes. Egg- no, the seal's not a Nazi. <laughs> what the fuck? It was part of the Happy Tree Friends Hour. Yes, was exactly. It? Yeah, oh, it was, it was around the same time. Tr- I remember no, 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 not part of Happy Tree Friends. Friends. It was, it was it's in the same block, 9 to 9.30. But point is, it always ends with him encountering someone and he has a PTSD flashback of whoever he's talking at the time <laughs> clubbing his parents to death and then he just loses his shit and murders everyone in the room. I oh, love this show. <laughs> Okay. No. Oh, it was, that it sounds was, quite memorable. This, I feel like I'd know it if I watched it. Is this the part of like SBS where it was like you were fucking ten years old, you're sick, you can't go to sleep, so you fucking well, go to the television you, and you, just watch you guys, TV for you guys an hour? Would have been ten. I, I would have been like around fifteen at the time. I remember watching SBS one time, and it was like this this courtroom drama kind of thing, and they're all like it was in German with no subtitles, so I had no idea what was going on. Mm-hmm. And like it was all that was on. It was that or like the guy from Big Brother. Uh, late night where they're all asleep and they think that that's good television like showing I, the footage of them asleep like wow okay live thanks I, I still remember the very first episode of Big Brother up late where it was the f- dominatrix who was running oh, around yeah. naked in the pool and I'm like hell no, yeah no but that was up late that yeah. was like a highlight of the things they couldn't show this oh. was the 3am thing where they just literally showed you live vision of the house where they're all asleep because it was 3am that is just so funny ah, either way I was watching SBS dumb. because it was that or that and it was literally all these people in a courtroom and then suddenly it cut to a whole bunch of naked people jumping into a river and then it cut back to the courtroom and I was like, okay, I don't know where this is going, but I'll tune in. I rem- yeah. I rem- they literally stayed in the courtroom for the entire time. There was no other cuts out of the courtroom. It was just that one that cut. That sounds like the most ridiculous my, And I was like, what the hell just happened? My happiest memory of SBS was just watching it really late at night hoping to see some tits because this yep. was long before the internet I know before oh. porn was so easy to goddamn access the yeah. internet was and around and SBS was the it. only real yeah. channel <laughs> that was willing enough to show actual I, fucking nudity I, I, okay this so I, I, was great. I remember doing this as a kid because when I used to wake up early in the morning I used to always tape Dragon Ball Z right because yep. I had to leave for school I'd always miss it then I'd get home that night and then I'd videotape whatever titty movie was on SBS <laughs> and I'd be like I'm gonna watch this later <laughs> Uh, and that's Circle Kick. And that's Circle, <laughs> that's, kick. That's circle kick. Welcome to Circle Dick. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, man. I'm pretty sure we gained a lot of followers and then just lost them in the space of that story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When did we gain them? <laughs> well, Which story gained them? Well, the thing is, I'm we gained them at the beginning to of call, the podcast. Just tell them again. I'm actually really tempted to call our podcast series Circle Dick. <laughs> I am actually really doing, uh, hoping to do it. Like Funhouse did a great look, one. Look, it's where Jen's it's like, face of approval. I, I'm actually because Funhouse did a really good one where all their podcasts they've named Dude Soup. Dude Soup. <laughs> Dude Soup. I love it. I don't. I mean, my Daniel my, loves imagine, Dude soup. my imagination yes. is going to the worst possible places right now. I like Rooster well, Teeth. I like Rooster Teeth too, which is basically cockbite. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we thought. That's what the symbol is. It's yeah, a rooster. It's, it's, it's a a literally a rooster rooster with, with chattering teeth. It's cockbite. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately. It's I'm a pretty way of calling something it. Something tells me that's cool. exactly what they intended to do. And then like, nah, you can't have that. All right. Fucking rooster, rooster teeth. teeth. Yeah. Yeah. Cockbite. <laughs> that's it. We've broken I'm, Fabian. I am taking that one home with me. <laughs> You're never going to look at red versus blue the same way ever again. <laughs> it's like, hey, did you hear the latest thing from cockbite? <laughs> oh, God. I kind of want to watch some Red vs. Blue right now. I really do. Oh, maybe later. We still got about half an hour. 
Hey, we've only been talking for half we've an hour. We've only been talking for we half an hour. We have covered so many diverse topics. Bullshit! I don't think we've, we've covered, covered any of them. We've sort of thrown a blanket slightly at them. We've talked about <laughs> fucking curb stomping, fucking SBS amateur porn. <laughs> Hey, hey, we also talked about clubbing baby seals with PTSD, alright? We, right? we take the conversation where it needs to go. <laughs> I love how that just killed Daniel. PTSD baby seals. Oh, good. Wait. I'm having another beer. <laughs> I'm, gonna, like, I'm still halfway through mine, I'm good. You know, how the, you know when they show those TV shows, how they have like the audio subtitles for the hearing impaired? Yeah. That yeah. tell you like all of the sound effects? Including when they sing badly. Like thunder, like thunder clapping in the background and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah, I know the ones. I oh, think, don't I tell think me. I, I think I know where you're going with I this. I should permanently just narrate what is happening over the top of this show. So you Right can... now, they're staring at me blankly. <laughs> 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 now they're laughing and holding a beer. <laughs> why, does, why does romantic Fabian, music... Fabian is adjusting himself. Romantic music, music should be playing at the background. At this. <laughs> they're looking at me blankly. <laughs> Ding, 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 ding. Welcome to love song dedications. Or do it, do it Max Payne style. Where you we better it. not fucking Richard Mercer better not fucking come after us <laughs> and give us a fucking warning for copyright. <laughs> it wasn't just the sunset; it was the end of my life, <laughs> signified in the sun. Why do you sound like Max Payne? That's what I was trying to do. Oh, okay. I thought oh. you were trying to be romantic. No, everything's about death. <laughs> Ah oh, man, that's, that's but a it's, game and everyone's like such what? beautiful poetry. I'm like it's really not. <laughs> no. That's a game series. I, I have to catch everyone up. Everyone was on. dead and murdered. It was cold. And also, my hands hurt were... because I didn't have gloves on. But it wasn't a normal cold. It was the cold of icy death. <laughs> you have someone right next to him. Bitch, it's just cold. <laughs> it is the middle of fucking winter, and you're in Boston. Of course, it's gonna be icy. I never understood why they remake everything, but not the first Max Payne. That yeah, needs you're right. A HD remake they, or they a... haven't remade any of them really. I mean, three only just came out. Three was good. They don't three need to came that, out a few years ago. I, I need to really catch up because I never played two and I never played three. So I, I three is good because two is good. I, it's really two is I average. The no, story is one. average. The gameplay is good, but the story is really. It average. was good enough. It was. I think it was. <laughs> it's good not enough. just good. It's good enough. It's good. The enough. Crusty brand still of approval. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, I don't mind the taste. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, honestly, that's one of the very few... Uh, and Uncharted, actually. But one of the very few gaming trilogies I honestly could not find. Like, it was just great. It didn't drop the ball. Like, oh, I don't know. Assassin's, Assassin's Creed? Yeah. But come at me. <laughs> that Assassin's that Creed. That didn't even hold the Come ball. at me, Ubisoft. <laughs> yeah. And fucking fanboys of Assassin's Creed. Don't worry, Creed. if you want to see Daniel's death, you'll need to buy the expansion pack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, I never got we'll have a Twitch. We'll open a Twitch account and we'll be like live streaming my death. While the fucking Assassin's Creed fanboys come and stone me. Oh, I'm pretty sure they've come up with more creative ways of killing you. No, 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 no. They do the whole, like, they dress up all as Art Altair mm. and fucking make their makeshift hidden blade and then just try and stab me with it. They'll dress up as pirates and think that they're assassins and be very confused. No, no, <laughs> no. What would be amazing is if we just have a gauntlet of Ezio's and Daniel has to make his way through it. We'll do it for that? charity. <laughs> we'll do it for charity. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, can Daniel parkour through all these Ezio's? <laughs> It's Brotherhood multiplayer in a nutshell. <laughs> but it's old Ezio. It's old. Oh, <laughs> yes. The, the fucking the crippled old 54. man in the road that everybody really wanted to play as. 54 year old <laughs> arthritis suffering Ezio. And his friend, 96 year old Altair. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh, man. <laughs> fucking takes out a blade out of his depends. <laughs> He's fucking stabbed I've dirtied him. the table. Yes, he has. Dirty. Sullied it. You sullied the table. Do you feel? Do you feel proud of yourself? Yes. Yeah, I, I, I just. So never... I'm waging. I'm raging war against Assassin's Creed fanboys. What are you guys raging war against? Uh, Don't say the fans the of the Dark Knight trilogy. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Why, wow. did you, why did you like? Did you just want to go pick a fight with someone? Something yeah, I really weird? hated Bane. He sounded like the clown from The Simpsons. If you should die before you wake. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give props to the movie. I'm going to give props to the movie for one thing. I didn't know much about. I mean, everyone I like knows Batman. 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 I'm, I'm, I just. I don't know if I like it just because I'm a great. I'm a really big Christopher Nolan fan, or because I'm not that big of a fan of. Well, I, I'm a big fan now, but at the time when I was watching it, I didn't really know Batman that well. 
Mm. Well, that's what I was going Bat to say. Manuel. Batman well. Batman well. From the tick. From the yes. He's way better. They should make his movie. I know. Spanish uh, Batman. Calmageddon. <laughs> well, multiple centers. Yeah. I, I honestly didn't know much about Batman or the DC Universe. Everyone knows Batman. You know, like from the Michael Keaton, you know, mm. the... the, the what, oh, God, I forgot his name. You ever um, danced with the Kilmer? devil in the pale? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, Jack Nicholson. George Clooney. Thingy. Burton. Burton's movies. That's Tim, right. Burton. Tim Burton. Tim Burton. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. So, I mean, we all saw them as a kid. Okay, and then the, every, the, the less we remember about the 90s ones, the better. You know, the mid-90s ones. Yeah, we just kind of... You know, forever hit and our and heads shit. against the wall until if only that we've memory reviewed was one long of them. gone. But I know we reviewed, <laughs> we reviewed that was terrible. But my point is, I didn't know much about it, and I thought, you know what? Since this is supposed to be a retelling of Nightfall, I should actually look it up and read it. I have to give it props for giving me the curiosity to go and read it, and then I just loved the story, and I got so into the DC universe after that. You know, read Flashpoint, got in, became a big fan of the Flash. But this is pre the TV show. So. Yeah, I think after the Dark Knight trilogy is when I started knuckling down on like DC, like canon and everything. Like mm. I, I haven't read a comic book. I, I guess I was lucky ever, to come into but I am a quite, too. I am a big fan of DC animated film. Like, mm. like I've seen. You've the original the Batman Dark Knight animated, Returns like part Dark one and two. Returns, Those, they one were great. and two. I've seen yeah. all of the Justice League, Justice League Unlimited, you Young didn't, Justice. Just, just judging by your face, you didn't like Dark Knight. I don't want to see old Batman fight cripples. But old Batman kicks ass. <laughs> It's like those memes that you see of Barristan Stormy I don't Stormy care what happens Thrones. to people after the movie. I, I don't want to watch people die at old age. Thinking... And I care not about them before they become and heroes. Here I am. I don't want to watch prequels and like <laughs> integrals and sequels that are so far in the future that they're no longer a hero. They're just old and have a walking frame. But Coming up is... next in our Twitch account, if I can watch Aaron and get railed Pick a by new hero. oceans <laughs> and oceans of fucking DC fanboys. Okay. It's alright, they've got no intelligence. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm just thinking of old characters that have proved how badass. Dark Knight Returns did it for me because... I never liked Batman because you he always like had the right gadget at the right time. He was too convenient. And Superman may have been a shit-ridden character, but at least they made his bad guys come to the park. Like, wait, come wait, to what? the playing field. Come to oh, the like, park. They, 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 instead of creating like, weak-ass bad guys... Do you think when he said, and, come and, to the park, he's like, he came to the I park and we went to the swings. <laughs> yeah. But like at least with Superman, the teeter -teeter was instead of bitch. writing creatively so that Superman was inhibited suddenly, mm -hmm. like or tied up yeah. by the villain, no, they just made bigger and better villains, which is why I always liked Superman. Batman was always crippled or had his back broken, and then it's like, how is he going to defeat him? And I'm like, I don't know, just get somebody else to do it, someone with a working. But bat. then again, he is human. Yeah, that's the big thing. That's, that's the why big, everybody loves that's humans. That's why you've never seen fucking Superman go through the same shit as Batman. Like you don't see Batman Iron Man fucking... versus the Bottle. Not even kidding. It was a saga long before yeah. the what? Dark Knight trilogy, and it was. Yeah. You want to talk about uh, humans? I Iron, Iron Man, Man already did half was of it. An alcoholic. Yeah. No, it's it's a demon, oh, demon in the bottle. Really demon, demon, demon in the bottle. I yeah. remember that one. Yeah, it's a good story. No, I love Old Man Logan. I, Mark Miller did a great job with Old Man Logan. Like again, another future story where pretty much all the heroes are wiped out. You got a fucking blind Hawkeye that ninja bastard. He can just take anyone out. Someone says aim three feet to the left of where you're aiming and he will hit whatever he needs to hit. My voice is here, aim that way. And it's like, bam, he does it. And old man, old man Logan just fucking kicks ass. He rips the Hulk a new one. Cool. Yeah. Old Hulk? <laughs> old Hulk. Did I say old Hulk? Yeah, old Hulk. Old, <laughs> old, old Hulk. Okay, even worse, old incestuous Hulk. He's getting it on with the rest of his Hulk family. There okay. Just a bunch of Hulky Old hillbillies. America. Hulkamania. Hulkamania. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good. <laughs> do, you, do you hear what happened to him? Oh, yes, uh, the racist comments that he made. Yeah. I, that, no. I just I heard the, um, recently. Uh, I don't know how, but from fucking, you know, like how Hulk Hogan was at one point um, in a sex tape from like years and years ago. No. Okay, well, guess what? Let's Hulk Hogan say, was in a fucking sex tape years and years and years ago. Let's just say Hulk Hogan was in a sex tape. A long, oh, wait, a long time I ago, there was recordings of Hulk Hogan talking about um, some of the girls that his daughter was going out with and he just I don't know I didn't I've never heard of it but apparently it was pretty heavy some of the shit that he was saying mm -hmm. and once that got out fucking the WWE wasted no fucking time just Vince dropping Vince McMahon his, just cut him straight yeah, away yeah there is no like his hey. existence is now gone okay speaking of which do you think we can finally get our No Holds Barred video up then I don't <laughs> know <laughs> it makes you think now doesn't it it makes well, me think Hulk Hogan's no longer let's see if this makes it <laughs> Yeah, we'll see if this one makes it. We, this, I, At least this, they'd have to wait, watch the whole thing to realise we talked about. 
<laughs> I'll give it a shot because um, just so that everyone else, like back at home, knows, um, we recorded a work. <laughs> we recorded a fucking uh, bad movie review of what was it called? No holds barred. No holds barred. Yeah. Um, and it was our some best of, one. It was. I it was. It was, one of it my was very good. No, yeah. we've. I think we've topped it. Well, with now, Hercules in New York. I'd yeah, say. I think that's topped well, it. Yeah, we've had a couple since. But Rikio was great too. I still think No Holds Barred was my favorite. Nah, but No Holds Barred two. was great. But unfortunately, um, it, yeah, the blame is on us because we said a few things that probably we shouldn't have. Mm-hmm. We won't and say so, them now. Some I don't, of us you put don't, pictures of them. Someone <laughs> has put I, I, in I, editing. I put them I, out. I can't I, even I, blame us because he or he can because he can just cut out the bit where he said. And these guys never do any editing. Yes. <laughs> what I what, yes. I, well, what I love is the damn look the that Daniel, power. What I love is the look that Daniel is giving us, like saying, "Don't you dare fucking say what you said." It's like don't, keep don't, it don't, ten. Say it. Yeah. don't say keep it. Don't say it. All right, we've said, uh, and what by me? Um, but when I mean we, I mean. Aaron and Fabian said a few things that at the time was funny, but we, we didn't a do our research and we realized that it's probably st- stuff that we shouldn't have said. Wasn't the funny, WWE it was did not genuinely spend insightful. as <laughs> much time getting rid of us and throwing the hammer on us. And I've get, like done the whole d- YouTube um, dispute claim and all that stuff and it still doesn't work. So I'm, I'm like, you know what, uh, I'm just going to give up on it and just... Leave that alone. But now it should be. I'm not too sure because now he's no longer a part of the WWE. But he doesn't have big fancy lawyers anymore. However, is it that we were talking about Hulk Hogan or is it the WWE didn't approve that we insinuated Hulk Hogan in that light or what? Because even though I he's not a part now, we're talking to do about a period that. of time when he was part of them, so they might still. Yeah. Yeah, that might be the case. Mm. Uh, but then again, they may. Uh, I don't know because. When the whole Chris Benoit thing happened, they stripped him completely. There is mm-hmm. no... There's in the no, WWE archives, more. there is fucking nothing. They don't know who Chris Benoit is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we all know who Chris Benoit we is. We all know who Chris Benoit is. <laughs> I don't. I had a life as a kid. I played outside. I didn't watch wrestling. Well, that's okay. We also played outside. We just played wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> Great stuff. Yeah. No, no. This is I'm just... Rey Mysterio. You can be... I uh, know the great Carly. No, 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 no. <laughs> see, see, the thing is, you, you young and you can crazy, be the, When I used to, jerk. when I used to play wrestling back in back in my in my primary school days, I'm talking people like Bret Hart right here. Okay? Oh, the I'm talking Razor Ramon and Lex Luger and Yokozuna oh. and Doink the Clown and like uh, mid '90s shit. Yes, there was Big a wrestler Daddy called Diesel. fucking. Yes, exactly. There was a wrestler called Doink the Clown. Yep, I remember Doink. Yes, okay, you guys have... Okay. Nah, my, ve- my best one, Diamond Dallas. Diamond Dallas! The Diamond yes. Cutter! I remember that. Was that. Great. Okay. Aaron looks so fucking if, lost. If anybody... He wishes to... out when anybody needs to He wants help. to leave his own house. <laughs> if anybody ever wants to see some of the great games they used to make, you should look up WrestleMania 94. I just 94. spilled beer on me. On the Mega Drive, or well, uh, for any American Keep the Genesis, you, or the Super Nintendo, the, the 94 WrestleMania game, I loved that. I played that. We rented it all the time. Oh, yeah. Played it with a friend. It was the bomb. No, my my heart still goes out to Sting. Sting was my favorite wrestler of all time. I used to watch. And he still is now. He's I used a to watch bull. early morning WCW. Like this is like just after uh, Saturday Disney at nine o'clock in the morning. They'd have WCW. Like, yeah. I had Foxtel, so I just switched over to six hours of The Simpsons. <laughs> this is this, is before, this yeah. is before that, man. This is this. I'm talking before yeah. those days. No, when since Foxtel came out, when it first came out, they used to have the reruns. Yeah, of the Simpsons. I know. I'm talking before that because ninety four, around ninety five is when Foxtel came out. I was watching it a couple of years before that. Comment down below. What's your favorite WWE slash WCW wrestler of all time? I would just say give you know give me your favorite WWE WWF game. I don't don't say WWF. That's gonna, <laughs> we're gonna get in trouble. I for would that. say no, but that's what it used to be. It so used we're talking to be in retrospect. N- not, not according to the WWE. <laughs> I would say comment below with anything that's not about wrestling. Thank you. <laughs> anything without not about wrestling. What's your favorite Bret Hart moment? <laughs> no, you know what? What's your favorite loaf of bread? Let's just go. <laughs> Wonder I, I like bread. a good rye. <laughs> Multi grain bitch. G- give me a damper. <laughs> Sourdough. For all of you non Australians out there, damper's Australian bread. It's great. No, it's not. Is it even? Is it even like? It, does it? Does it like count as an Aussie bread? Or I'm oh, pretty yeah. sure it does. I don't know what we consider to be. Yes. A... See, our food scientist, our resident food scientist, has. He's also Australian. Bread. Yeah. <laughs> Damp- Damp- damper is an Australian bread. Cooked That's in a yes. bushfire. Cooked in a bushfire. You see that now? Everyone, get out there, get a bushfire. <laughs> <laughs> I like grab, some... a, grab a bushfire wherever you can find one. 
I'm like, pretty sure you can pick one up at Costco. As you can imagine, damper is very popular in summer in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was that tasteless. That is such a that bad joke. Tasteless. That the rest of the world, except Australia, is going to get. Oh, God. That was fucking just horrible. Tasteless, right? This is our I first like good old podcast. fashioned white bread. <laughs> This is our first podcast. <laughs> Let me remind and you. Already, of that. we're just just hammering on. Oh everything. god, damn it! We I, should do this more often. I blame the Dos Equis. You've had one <laughs> fucking bottle. Yeah, but <laughs> my giant cup is empty. You've had one goddamn cup. Giant cup. Yeah, but that mug is huge. Yes. It is a big mug. Yeah. It's bigger than your average um, mug. It's like the depot of mugs. The the dare chocolate milks that come in 750 mils. You can pour one of them clearly into this. Oh, what, the Jesus. 750 mil bottles just in that one mug? Oh, that is a Jesus. huge mug. Yes. Just, just so everyone's got a bit of an idea. It's a huge mug. It's a, ma- <laughs> it's, a it's, it's, it's like one of those really big soup mugs. It's just immense. And it has a dude sticking his finger up at the bottom. Yep. We'll take pictures so I can just put it up there. It could be our logo. Circle kick. No, we can't do that. <laughs> we can't do that. We can't do that. YouTube won't let us. And neither will Twitch. Oh, speaking of which, you know, that's something we haven't discussed. Where is this podcast going up? <laughs> hmm? Where is this SoundCloud podcast SoundCloud and iTunes. YouTube. Oh, I didn't know YouTube did a podcast thing. Yeah, you can upload them. Well, hell, that's oh, what... Um, that's pretty cool. Rooster Teeth's done a bunch of times. Awesome. Now, well, now, when they started it off, it was basically just a blank screen and just nothing but audio, which is basically what I'm going to do, except I'm just going to put up pictures of Bret Hart. But um, now they do actual video like podcasts where they upload it to wherever the fuck you upload it. Because I've, I've seen IGN does a couple of podcasts and they actually film the people sitting there talking yeah. about stuff. Yeah, that's yeah. not really a podcast. That's just filming. It's a video <laughs> podcast. It's a video podcast. Yeah, but you're not watching it on your iPods anymore. That was the whole point. It well, was videos for your iPod. Now that it comes so far, it's just videos. Well, like it's not really. For it's iPod. just advancing technology, though. Really, I mean, seriously. Eventually, the iPod is going to be replaced with something even better, and I then it'll be called something it. different. Eventually, headphones won't even be for your head. I know. <laughs> you mean speakers? I doubt it. No. Apple, like Apple's going to just keep pumping. No, no, but please I mean, don't come after m- us, Apple. M- maybe it'll change the branding. I, the other day, I had to reset my Apple ID password, and the password reset thing says I forgot. <laughs> I really like that. <laughs> that's clever. I, that's clever. I that's not dissing them. That is legitimately from over there, and it still fucking peaks <laughs> in this thing. <laughs> More audio engineering for me. God damn it. Mm-hmm. Enjoy. Yeah. Yeah, you got your work cut out for you now, boy. Yeah. Wait till you get your new fucking Alienware laptop. I'm gonna make you fucking do some of our editing. Oh man. You're gonna have to learn that as well. Oh, but just so that everyone else knows, what are you studying? Uh, diploma of interactive gaming. Interactive and digital gaming. Hmm. Yeah, pretty pr- got pretty far behind. Got to catch up with all my work. So does that to do. does that lead? Would that lead you into gaming journalism, by any chance? No, because I think you'd have to do a journalism st- course or degree in right, diploma cool. on journalism. So I mean, I could pretty much just sit here and waffle. Look, okay, look, I'm experienced enough with games that I know my history, that I know how to talk about them, uh, that I know how to enjoy them. You know, and I can break it down, but I'm, I guess you wouldn't call me a qualified journalist. Hmm. Although really, you know. But then again, also. I'm not going to be writing thing about, the You're a the pirate thing journalist. About, I'm a pirate journal. The great thing about YouTube is. Everyone's you qualified. Be, everyone's actually <laughs> qualified. Hell, um, I mentioned this before. The guys from Funhouse, uh, when they do videos on The Know, which I've mm-hmm. actually shown you a bunch of them. They're not gaming journalists at all. And they do not claim themselves to be gaming journalists but the information they bring out is actually quite good and now Funhouse is going to come after you for that it's like we're legitimate no, journalists no no that's a fucking compliment <laughs> that is a great and they actually say the reason why they don't call themselves gaming journalists is because they've seen gaming journalists so do they, do they and they say that? I do, do not say? want to be that yeah they've actually oh. quoted that like uh, we've seen gaming so journalists so what is the negative connotation with a gaming journalist I don't then? know but some part of me doesn't want to find out have you ever watched qualified film critics criticize something? No. It's quite boring. Really. It is, actually. It, they go into, like, the real technical aspects on why it was crap. I don't want to hear the technical it stuff. And it's not, like, it's crap because it's you can see like, the lighting and the scene It's kind of like you guys right now. Like, <laughs> yeah. you guys are reviewing fucking films. They may be shit quali- films. It'd be different but, if we were qualified yeah. to do it. We'd be looking at a very different aspect. But I'm actually mm. pretty sh- quite confident that people will actually watch your reviews and actually agree or disagree with different things. Well, let's keep plugging them in our podcast anyway, just to make yeah. sure. <laughs> so just reviews. In, just in case you didn't know, we started as reviewers and now we're podcasters and now we're plugging our reviews. So go watch the reviews and learn about our podcast to then listen to the podcast to learn about our reviews. Daniel? 
<laughs> back to Daniel with the weather. Just, yeah. Back to Daniel with the weather. Daniel <laughs> stares at Aaron with a blank face. It's gonna rain. It's gonna rain. The rain is sideways. It was cold, but it was a different cold. You want this puppy? Deathly cold. <laughs> no, Ollie, I'm. God fine. damn it, Max Payne. <sighs> Always bitching about things, Max Payne. My cup is empty, but it wasn't the normal kind of empty. It was. <laughs> <laughs> It was filled with sorrow. <laughs> so death. the tears of my enemies. So you're just you're just telling me that every single line he spews is a metaphor. Pretty much. Yeah, I, I know, love right? to see Max Payne eat cereal. <laughs> <laughs> these weren't the re- these weren't Cheerios. These were depressing O's. <laughs> As I took my first bite, I could feel the cold, jagged metal press against my tongue. It felt colder than yes. the devil's heart in New York in winter. It gave a crunch, <laughs> like the crunch of a man's bone breaking when you step on it. Mm-hmm. I never really did like the front cover of Frosty's. <laughs> that happy tiger. The tiger. What is he so happy about? That tiger always <laughs> saying it's great. No, it's not great. Your sugar stabs my tongue like a thousand tiny needles. <laughs> <laughs> So wait, so wait, when, when, we're, when, when we, we write the we gotta do this, we gotta film this, when we write 30 second skits of Max Payne doing different shit. Yes. I Max Payne, I don't always shopping for a tie. No, no, I don't always Dos Equis, but when I do, someone dies. <laughs> <laughs> Just Ma- Max Payne the normal being the, kind smoke, of death. the spokesperson for anything. The normal kind of death, it's the death that kind of stays with you. And haunts you like a bad memory. <laughs> like like a like a like a stale Krispy Kreme donut. It comes back the next morning to haunt you. Yes. <laughs> oh, like man. a midget in a urinal. Like a stain my toes. <laughs> 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 that, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> Oh, We've successfully effect- like I could just imagine the description for this podcast would be listen to Fabian, Daniel, and Aaron. Just okay, moral so of the story is <laughs> watch Police Squad. <laughs> <laughs> just rag on Max Payne and WWE. Okay, so so far we've angered Everyone. Assassin's Creed fanboys, DC fanboys. Um, Oh, <laughs> and that's not even us, people. That's not even. It's by the way, clearly picked up by the microphone from one three hundred meters away. <laughs> right, right there. That's our resident food scientist. Oh, by the way, we're in a room surrounded by chicks. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> yeah. Just ignore, ignore them. Yes. <laughs> literal chickens. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, so we angered Assassin's Creed. Not the normal ones, the literal ones. DC fanboys. The ones WWE that came before the fanboys. Max WWE. Payne fanboys. Nah, we, do, we didn't anger, we didn't anger WWE Max Payne fanboys. fanboys. Majority of them will actually. And anyone who's us. played Max Payne will. They not, want, it's, it's a you, tribute. You'll be it's surprised annoying. how many fucking people hate the fucking PG area. Era, era, what the fuck? Era. Era, and want the fucking attitude era. The time where fucking Stone Cold Steve Austin was fight, sit, like sticking yeah. fingers up to fucking Double Vince fingers, McMahon yeah. and fucking I, I reckon isn't that rocking the, up in a Zambino and I, fucking isn't that shit the time up. between and we're back to wrestling when wrestling <laughs> used to be like I'm talking that that's that's the mid to late nineties era of wrestling and then it all just became family entertainment. Um, when was that? That was like 2004. Remember Daniel was currently afterwards. tapping a chair. Let's remember? put it this way. Um, you know John Cena, yeah? Yeah. His signature move. The attitude yeah. adjustment? Yeah, yeah. It used to be called the FU. I remember that. That's I how do. fucked up things have changed. His match against, um, what's his name? JBL mm-hmm. was the bloodiest fucking match ever. He got hit with a chair and f- absolutely, it looked like someone just threw fucking red paint in it. It was bleeding that much and he still like, mm. won it out. And it was like an I quit match. Yeah. It's, and now look at him. <laughs> Wow, man. No, look at him. He's just so, like fucking So, me. yeah, so basically, WWE has gone down this whole raw, road of, of, of family entertainment to the point where it's just, what, like really desensitized. Now everybody watches it's the like UFC you, for their blood. It's like when you watch anime in English. Like, in Naruto, they had Drunken Fist. And in English, English it was Crazy Fist. And he drank Crazy Juice. Oh, give me a fucking Not even break. kidding. In a and, bottle that said XXX. Oh, give and me that's a why, break, And that's why I man. can't watch One Piece in English. I mean, when I saw that fight between Luffy and Don Krieg, and he shot him with poison tip suction cups, those fucking things what? were like, like these things, these, Why these is his spikes face missing. These, <laughs> these spikes were the size of a beer bottle, and they were lodged in his body, and he was ripping them out and bleeding everywhere, and in and they censored it so that it was like poison tip suction cups. Are you oh, fucking kidding? What? Me? That, he I, got he got nerfed. He got nerfed. <laughs> he something got nerfed. bad. It's like nah, <laughs> damage too high. Op. God damn, that's de- 
That's it's depressing. depressing. That's why. That's that really why I, I, I watch the uncut version. I hate it I when fucking everyone just does like they just do not trust the audience. It's like That's, they dumb it down. For they do people. dumb it down. Like, Let's spoon feed it to people. It makes Fuck. me wonder. Do you think they do that as a way to avoid liability? Like the WWE I mean, goes, imagine they would. we have dumbed it down to the point where you cannot fucking touch us or blame us if your kids go out and break each other's skulls. Well, there have been cases where like people have actually tried wrestling moves and stuff, and people got seriously hurt. Yeah, yeah. but don't they just have a disclaimer at the front where it says, don't the try the any of the moves you see at home? It's like games. And then that's, they're no longer liable. It's like liable. fucking mass murdering it's a like game. Tuned in if halfway. someone fucking, Damn it. <laughs> if some asshole decides to get himself a gun and fucking unload in a fucking shopping mall, what better scapegoat than violent games? Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Who was the, the was it Norwegian? The Norwegian guy who said, "Oh, I used to play Modern Warfare too," and bam, everyone's like, "Whoa, fuck, ban a war on." Yeah, war on murder games. as well. But like Jack the Ripper didn't play Call of Duty. Yeah, I just used to cut up prostitutes. Yeah, they do not. I don't know. Uh, it's it, to me, it feels like an easy scapegoat. To anything, it makes. But then again, I gotta admit, like after playing life. Tetris, I did feel the urge to fucking <laughs> knock someone out. <laughs> I was like fucking. I was. He in, read that guy, I was embraced with a rage. I didn't think. He I read would. that guy that lost it like Counter Strike or something, and he flew to Sweden and murdered the guy. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, I hadn't. Yeah. Holy shit! There was like an article on like the worst I video game kidding. rage of all time, and oh it was like literally the guy that like saved up, flew over to another country, and murdered the guy. You really have to. Just, <laughs> it's like whoa. I didn't. You know, I would not even put that on the game. I would just say, dude, you are a fucking psycho to begin with. Yeah. Because if no. I can lose at something and then save my money, yeah, but then for again, an X amount of time and then go and kill rage. someone. But that's, dude, that's it's cold not. Blooded. It's not just about you blaming that. the game. It's like you f- find it. You bring me a lawyer that it's wants to make himself big and get his name out there, mm-hmm. and I'll give you someone who's willing to witch, fuck, witch hunt the it's, fuck out of video games. All right, let's piss off somebody else. It's the lousy parents that want anyone to blame but themselves. The parents who sat them down in front of the video games and left them there to start with. Okay, I, I've actually got a really cool mm. story for, for this, right? Because one time I was um, in, in a game store, right? Come at me, parents. <laughs> I was in a game store. All this- parents suck. <laughs> I don't want to see photos of your kid. <laughs> they all look the same. <laughs> all right, as I was sitting there uh, looking at the games, because, you know, sometimes you just like to browse shit. Yep. Guy comes up to me, com- looks completely clueless. He goes, yeah, I'm looking for a game for my 12-year-old. Okay? <laughs> You're in the wrong place. <laughs> no, 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 no. The first thing I recommended, and I said, oh, shit, what did I used to play when I was 12? You know what? Calamari Demasi. You know what? Play, play some Ratchet and Clank. Your, ki- your kid will love that. He goes, oh, I'm looking for that one, Do you know, Modern Warfare 3 or Black Ops or something. And I said, oh, I just, I had It'd be great. It'd be like, which one's the one with head? no Russia? Like, oh, Jesus with no- As soon as he said no Russia, I was like, no. Nah. No. And, and see, right there, that really says a lot about the ignorance of people. And they, I mean, I, I, what Aaron's saying is right about the parents. Like, well, you really need to educate yourself on what your kid's looking at. Hmm. It's like, I mean, don't get me wrong. When I was a kid, I used to play Doom. I used to get away with watching Beavis and Butthead. We Bud turned Hair out and fine. Song. Yeah, we didn't go to school. It wasn't the as, game. It wasn't as realistic people. back then. Like a little bit of red pixels flying off of a demon. Oh, but then the whole Columbine as... mass murder was blamed on Doom. Oh, yeah. Everything's blamed on everything. That's true. Again, comic, like I said, I said it earlier, comic books copped a lot of flack in the 60s, between the 60s to the 80s. Yeah. Why? Because... Just, uh, just for putting anything. violent ideas in people's heads. Exactly. But then again, if you think about it, uh, novels, paperback novels, were ch- yeah, like back in the 1800s, like, oh, we can't have women read this because they'll get educated. Yeah. I remember reading that. I was like, are you kidding me? Like, wow. It's such a different attitude to today where it's like, you have to read a book. Give a who, read a book. No, everyone, everyone go out there and get a book. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking nine year olds with your own iPad tablets. It's like, go out there, get a book on your iPad, and then read it. An, yeah. Not an e book, a real book. A get real, yourself a real book. Smell the paper. Fucking do I some. I like the smell of I don't books. Know, do some fucking parkour or something. I get like outside, seeing, do something. I like seeing your progress. Like, you know, when you, you're like, go to the gym. I've read a lot of this book because you can see how far you've come. I know, especially if you use a book. can't see that in an e book. Like, look at the scroll bar. Oh, I'm halfway through. No, oh, it's I, not I, the same. Put also down the, number the out dating number. simulator and talk to girls. Put down that goat simulator. No, no, wait, wait. I got and talk to goats. I was reading a thing the other day. I wanted to buy the game. It's called Had a Full Pigeon. I was about to I want to buy that pitch to play that too. What? You, wait, are, wait, wait, wait. you are the wait. only human at an all pigeon school. <laughs> and that's the only part. And then the, the pictures are you with a bandage and a pigeon. Yeah, it's quite, <laughs> that's all of them. It's thinking like crazy. It. Okay, it's called her total boyfriend. That's I me. I read about this years ago, and I thought the concept is so bizarre. And then when it came out on the PS4, I said, 
Tiff, I got. It. I have to buy this. What? Did you buy it? I have to buy this. Did you buy it? No, not yet. But you gotta but, tell me how it is. No, 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 no. <laughs> Read the wiki <laughs> for it though. It actually <laughs> has a decent it story. It looks pretty funny. The premise is ridiculous, but the story is actually it's a post-apocalyptic world where birds have taken over. Man birds. So it's basically the Hitchcock. Have you watched movie, the birds? The birds, yeah. And it's just continue on. Yeah. Have you watched Ugly American? Oh yes, I've seen that. The man I've birds. heard of it. So I've my heard of it. <laughs> man, we all just got really excited right there. <laughs> I don't want to play that game about pigeons. <laughs> me too. Me too. Oh, Violence man. my ass. It's about pigeons. Everyone's <laughs> talking about this stupid fucking game about pigeons, and I'm just looking at my Zoom H4N. It's peaking like a motherfucker. There's lights blinking everywhere because everyone decided to fucking <laughs> yell, yell into the right mic. fucking close to the fucking microphone. God damn it, people! Oh, we all pigeons. <laughs> But yeah, I when I like it's funny we both came up with the same idea as soon as we talked so about if you dating wanna... simulators. I was like, I've got to mention her turtle boyfriend, and then you said it at exactly <laughs> the same time. boyfriend. Yeah, I really want to watch it. <laughs> it's so good. And and, and and all of the characters. It was on that... sale the other day, and I was I started reading I it as tempted, a joke. I was tempted to purchase it. I was. <laughs> Thomas, seriously, I for, love to for meet anyone, the guy who created it. For anyone that doesn't know about this game, look up the wiki, read the plot, and it is actually it has a decent plot to it. It's it's not. I, I want to play it for how bizarre it is, but yeah, uh, I, I need to, I need someone else to tell me it's good. <laughs> I don't want to be the the um. I was going to say crash test dummy, but I was going to uh, crash test pigeon. Why don't we game capture it? Maybe. Yeah, let's do yeah, that. Like, why not? Let's sit there and do that. For, like, yeah, like watch Aaron and Fabian play. Let's if play this is Daniel's living, can he write it off as a tax write-off? <laughs> um, Actually, can, can we? we? <laughs> can we? Do I don't it. know. I have no idea. You know, if you're like a writer, I you guess can write off I your could, laptop. It, mm. I guess I could if I were making money off it, right? Mm-hmm. So if I monetize it, I'd be able to. Possibly. Do it. Maybe. Well, didn't you say you wanted to do something on Twitch? Yeah, that's true. We can have people sit there. How does YouTube can... feel about you advertising Twitch? Fucking everyone does that. They don't give a shit. Well, no, I don't care if they'll do people it. I want to know Twitch how they streams feel. On YouTube. There are people who fucking how just they rant feel? on how bad YouTube how is, and it's feelings. still you will be able to see them on YouTube. <laughs> like this is why YouTube sucks, and you watch it on YouTube. It's like what the hell? Anti YouTube on YouTube. Interesting. Yeah, I'll look that up. Hmm. Like, I've seen plenty of fucking gamers with the purple Twitch jacket that they get mm-hmm. on fucking YouTube. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> if we jacket? sign up for Twitch, we get a jacket? Sign- Man, I want to do this now. I don't know. I don't know how they get the jacket. I, I want a I, Twitch I, jacket. I know. Maybe they have I've seen, seen what's his name? Paid subscribers or something. He's like a dude that used to be on Achievement Hunter. What's his name? Ray Navarez Jr. Mm. He's like, I've seen him wear that purple jacket that says Twitch on it. And I'm like, man, I want that jacket. I want that jacket. <laughs> I want a jacket. You know what? <laughs> Just a jacket. I want a jacket. I reckon that. So, so that's it. We've already got our goal set from our first podcast. We have to. We have to twitch. Circle to Kickstarter. Boyfriend. Buy us we, all a jacket, and we will. We have we to also, go to a high school also, filled with pigeons. We also have to twitch Max Payne now. Yeah, like, yeah. Let's do that. Twitch Max Payne. Yep. <laughs> and let's. And you know, while we're at it, let's bring up an old school Max WWE Payne game. car park parallel parks. <laughs> Oh, that's a skit right there. Oh, God. That's a yeah, skit. I just want no, to get the best part is, as we're doing it, we can have just the camera focus there and, and just we're coming up with metaphors for mm. it. All right, say something. <laughs> I can't even focus <laughs> on that. Yeah. Cheerios were nice. <laughs> <laughs> Reversing that car park into that time. The lines were skewed, like the skid marks of the car as it took my wife from my life. <laughs> 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 oh man. I'm oh done. god. I am so doing. I've got to go home and just react storyboards of Max Payne doing different shit. I really hope Rockstar doesn't come at us. <laughs> It's oh, all right. To really be honest, easy. if Rockstar comes then after so, us. so was everyone Like that else. night. <laughs> like that that night. cold, dark night when Rockstar came into our lives. <laughs> Mac, the Rockstar comes after Max Payne. <laughs> I laugh if after all this you just get in trouble for humming the theme song. Yeah, <laughs> You can't I'm, get in trouble for humming the theme song. Copyright. Yeah, but he's humming it. He's I'm not humming actually, it. I'm not, not actually using the actual song. But not you, actually you were using... like, you remember just before you started humming it, you were like, I own this song? What? I didn't say that. <laughs> I do. I own this This is song. my song and my song alone. <laughs> I, I wrote this. <laughs> Another one of my creations. 
Oh, it's all me. Redemption. You know, all this, you there's know no this such thing as Brian Adams. Adams. All his songs belong to me. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's something? All those public domain songs, I wrote them. <laughs> <laughs> I write. I write all elevator music. <laughs> This is just we've lost the plot. This just just devolved into nothing now. I love how bored. Speaking of which, hey, speaking of which, we need to write a theme song. Um, all good things have a theme song. Fuck, I don't know how we're gonna do this. I don't know, dubstep maybe. No, no. Dial-up internet turns from the nineties. Because that's dubstep. The theme, the theme song to Max Payne. Oh, that just reminds me of the. <laughs> that, that, that reminds me of the like Artie Ziff invention. You know where he where he makes the, music out of the out of the dial up. No, no, yeah, oh. it's the same episode, but he makes the music out of the dial up connection. Yes, but I don't Jeez. remember what song. Plays. I don't remember the song either, but you remember that? Oh God, I, I remember, remember the snoring one. Yeah, well, same thing. It's the same episode. the world and the seven seas. I be right is coming after me. <laughs> wait, wait. I wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> wait. All right, I think we should end, end it there. Yeah. All right, we gotta end it there. Otherwise, we let's all just keep singing. No, <laughs> several more hours. I'm pretty sure we just covered everything we need to. Cover. All right. Well, that's <laughs> our first ever attempt at a podcast. Marvel at the spectacle of us talking for an hour and saying nothing. Yeah, that's, 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 it's, it's, it's a show about nothing. It's yeah. basically Seinfeld with no visual. Hmm. Think about it. Now, we should definitely drive in cars with people. <laughs> now, now Seinfeld's going to come after us. Yeah. He's got Seinfeld money. <laughs> <laughs> come after me, Kramer. <laughs> what happened here? Uh, all right, so our first ever podcast. Aaron, how do you feel? Hungry. Fabian, how do you feel? Not hungry. I feel more <laughs> lost than I've ever felt before. No, I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with how everything went. I mean, literally, it was just us doing what we do every day, which is we just. I feel like crap. we had better material before we turned on the cameras. <laughs> what? No, 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 no. I'm not recording that. Basically, we went on a massive rant, racist rant, beforehand, which you we had, will not. Yeah, you had to mention that it was a racist rant. We can't even talk about the fact that we talked about the most generic shooters of 2008. <laughs> that's they right. Were, they that's were right. all racist. <laughs> they were all racist. Hexen was fucking racist. Turok, Turok was, was racist. just as bad. Yeah, fucking dark what void. else is there? Dark Void. Does anyone remember that other one? The, it, it was the weird singularity. Singularity. Uh, there was the other one where you could walk on the walls. It's like it, you, gravity would change and you would walk on the walls and it's prey. Was weird. No, not prey. Prey was, was boring. Couldn't die. You turn into a ghost, and then you'd still be able to kill people. You know what happened as the ghost? So, I spent the first ten times I died and went to the spirit realm, yep. trying desperately to shoot somebody so I'd get my life back, thinking that I would die if I didn't do it there. Mm-hmm. You just come back with very little health. But you still come back, even if you shoot no one. So, if you die, when you die, you come back. So, whenever you die in <laughs> prayer, you yeah. go to the yeah. spirit realm, and you can see where you were through a little circle, and you're supposed to shoot your spirit bow and arrow. If you shoot him with red... You, like if you shoot the red birds, you come back with health, and if you shoot the blue birds, you come back with spirit powers as well. Oh, okay. Like magic, ma- like whatever it is. If you shoot nothing, you still come back. There is no way to die. And guess it. what happens when wow. you shoot Talk nothing and you come games. back with very little health? What? You get shot in the face once, you die, and then you're back in the spirit world. <laughs> Where you can still shoot the bad guy. There was really no really? punishment in that. No. I'm I mean, just like, all right, so basically your punishment for me time, dying is you're going to give me a better vantage point. At the time, the visuals were awesome. Like yeah, the, the whole intro. The, the intro and was the, the Don't Fear the Reaper. Don't while Fear the Reaper the while you're being re- like, awesome. in the whole Barracuda fight scene. Yeah, that, that was, was awesome. I remember walking down a hallway and you hear... Then coming around. And you're like, what the hell is that? Because you know where you know what happened to your jukebox. <laughs> I, think <laughs> just, I think I just killed Dan. <laughs> as soon as you guys started, I was like, oh, I gotta do this. Gotta but do I've do never do been do. so scared of the song Barracuda in my life. Because you know where the last time you saw the jukebox was, and you're like, uh oh. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> mm. But that was the, like the visuals were awesome, but there was just no punishment in there. No. And they were gonna make a prey too, but they got canned. Yeah, for some I, reason. that actually looked good when I. I, mean, I never played the first. It one. I was just like, I kept looking at it, and nobody mentioned. I'm like, can you die? Please let me die. <laughs> it looked like Mirror's Edge cr- 
Mirror's Edge Cross with being a bounty hunter. Yeah. I like the idea. And then they just strapped On it. On paper, like, it looked what good. And it was in space. It had nothing to do with the first one. Well, okay. Apparently, they say at one point it has a very loose connection with the first one. But yeah. Apparently, you might top, like bump into Tommy, who was the main character of mm. the second one. First one, sorry. Yeah. Wasn't he Navajo too? I think so. He was a mechanic. Yeah. I know that much. And his wrench was the default weapon. Yeah, that was great. Oh. And he was stronger than a lot of the guns. Wow, well, way to, way to buy <laughs> that was. Shot, right? I like the fact that the wrench was the only human weapon you had. Oh. Everything else was just alien. Alien tech. Like rifles, it's rocket very launchers. Rare to the see grenades an alien tech were fucking. These days. See, the last great game I played, I mean, maybe this is just showing what I've. Because I, I, I never Sonic played Xbox. The Hedgehog. No, the no, no. <laughs> perfect perfect <laughs> Dark. <laughs> perfect <laughs> Dark. I have not seen better alien weapons since Perfect Dark. There's been some perfect Dark. Ones. The one on the 64. Mm. Mm. I, I love but, that. I liked Doom Three with its BF, like bringing the I really I old the Doom old 3. alien weapons into modern like graphics was awesome. BFG and the railgun from Quake, like Quake Four, yeah. had the railgun. All of those alien weapons were amazing, and Halo's alien weapons were pretty cool. Some of them. The oh. railgun was such a bad weapon, but it looked awesome. It was basically it's a one a, shot weapon. If it hit something. Mm-hmm. Instant death. Just gypped it. But that's the hard part. If it hits something, if it, hits if it, something. Hits something. it was a and single reload, beam, and it was like and the reload time was charge. fucking stupid. Yeah. So you have to use it like on a big. It was your hail, it was your hail Mary. Yeah. It was like, oh my god, I'm going to die unless I get insta kill. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was great. Wow. Are you excited about the new Doom game coming out? Yeah, it looks a lot more brutal though, and I'm just it hoping does. they didn't lost the story somewhere. And uh, I like the whole little like homages the, it does, like the, the, the chainsaw the, and the everything. The ending when you get beaten to death with your own arms, the end of that little demo was pretty cool. That was yeah, cool. that was pretty awesome. But I, I just remember that how good did the um, the demo and the video to Rage look? Remember their game yeah, Rage? I remember, it looked I remember. awesome. But, but but it was literally just the same stage over and over again. Yep. Is all that game was. Mm. I like the big mutant dude, but that was pretty much the only it's very very generic shooter, Although, which I think came out in two thousand and eight. Uh, <laughs> I think it was yeah. I think Actually, it was I'm pretty the same sure time. it did. Yeah. Although I have to admit, Wolfenstein, the, the the new, uh, not the old blood, the other one, the new order, new order. That was actually that was not two thousand and eight. No, no, <laughs> that no, was two thousand and eight. But, but I'm pretty Wolfenstein, sure that generic Wolfenstein came yeah, out in two thousand and nine. Yeah, eight or nine. I remember it was around then. But we can check no. it. I still have Daniel's copy. <laughs> I haven't played it. <laughs> <laughs> the, I I like the new order, and if the new order is indicative of anything that they could do with Doom Four, I'm I'm happy with that because I do like that. I like what they do. Maybe we'll see. All right. So we'll call it there. I guess we'll wrap it up then. Yeah. Any last words before I kill all of you with my bottle of Dos Uh No, I guess just watch the <laughs> watch the next podcast. L- listen to the next podcast, and if and look there out is... for our Godfrey Ho review. Whatever happened to that one? That's coming out. It better come out. That's coming out. Was, yeah. We did hard work. That, that was. We do a lot I of think, hard work. I don't know if clips. I don't know all if of the good stuff is because of us. I don't know if the podcast is going to come out before that mm-hmm. because that's going to be a. Like the oh Jesus, Robo well, Vampire is going to be a lot of hard work, but and this doesn't look like it's going to be much, so this might come out before. Basically, he's saying this is easier, so he may just do this instead of. Oh. So it's just no, 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 no. Trust me, we're going to keep doing bad movie reviews, and then we get to do the game stuff later. Yeah. Okay, I'm happy with that. All right, cool. But yeah. All right. Well, we've been, you've been listening to Circle Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Circle. Like, subscribe, you know the deal, and comment below to tell us how horrible we are as human beings. (laughs) All right, cool. Later.